Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Rodriguez for your read aloud today. Today's read aloud has to do with the study of pets. We're going to continue to read about pets. And this time around, the book I'm going to read to you is the person who takes care of the pets. Now, you've heard me read aloud who takes care of the pets. It's actually the veterinarian or the short term is called vet, vet. So in this story, let's meet a veterinarian. We're gonna to go to chapter three because chapter three has to do with what we want you to learn about taking care of your pet, especially where they live and what they eat. Okay, we did a chart on that. So always remember what a, a bird needs or a dog needs or a turtle or a cat or any other pet that you enjoy having at home, even a fish. So, from the book of Gina Belisario, Let's Meet a Veterinarian, Chapter 3. And Chapter 3 says, Good Henry Helpers. Good Henry Helpers. No worries for Henry today. His checkup was easy. Dr. Kate says he's healthy. So Henry is the hamster. And this is Dr. Kate. That means we're good, Henry Helpers, says Ella. Thanks to Dr. Kate, we learn how to take even better care of him. It's very important to listen to your vet or your veterinarian because they are the ones who can teach you how to take care of your pet and your pet won't get sick and stay healthy. Dr. Kate shows us the right foods for Henry. She talks about ways he can get exercise. But most important, she makes us promise to give him lots of love. It feels great when your pet is healthy, but, when, but what if a pet gets sick? Good pet helpers can help their pets vet call their pets vet. Vets work hard at making their patients better. A healthy pet makes a vet feel great too. It's a promise we deliver, we always keep. Dr. Kate lends a hand with Henry. So we give our animal helper a animal our animal helper a hand too so it's always important to have a veterinarian or a vet and the end because we will read the rest of the book throughout probably next week or the following week when we continue to talk about pets what is important about this book it's how to take care of pets if your pet is sick if you don't know how to feed your pet if you don't know what your pet needs, you might want to talk to your veterinarian who is the expert in what they need to have. Either exercise, the food they should eat, um, have humanizations because they get shots too. Um, if it's a cat or, or a dog, you usually take them in a cage, especially the cat. Um, if it's a bird, I assume you take it in your bird cage. If it's a rabbit, you should take it in some kind of cage as well because these doctors need to see them, okay? So now we're going to transition to your Sky Letter Formation Board from Foundations. And this is very important because this is going to be your success for kindergarten and first grade. It's about writing. And so far, I've only seen one person who's made a big mistake of where you're supposed to write. You don't write on every single line all the letters of the alphabet. No, 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 no. This is not what that is for. What this is for is to write those words on the lines they're supposed to go, where they're supposed to go. So today's word was fun. Let's start with the F. The F starts on the sky. You start on the sky, come down to the grass, pick your marker up and go across the airplane line. 
the letter U. You start on the plain line, you go down in a hump, go back up from the grass to the plain line, and come down again and touch the grass. And that's the letter U. The letter N is the opposite of the letter U. So you start on the, on the plain line, come down to the grass, go up in a hump, touch the plain line, come down to the grass. And that's the word fun. Did I touch the worm line? No. So some of you have to follow these videos, have to watch these videos, and look at what am I doing. This is not something that you should be playing with by putting all the letters of the alphabet all over it because that's not what it is, okay? Let's go with the word sun. Sun, because today is sunny. So let's start with sun. This is a word that Ruth knows how to write very well. So I want you guys to do the same thing. The S starts on the plain line like a snake. So you go on the plain line and come down in a swirl to the grass. And that's the letter S. Then you take the U, you start on the plane line, come down to the grass, go up to the plane line, and come down again to the grass. And the N, like I said before, is the opposite. So you start on the plane line, come down to the grass, go up in a hump, come down to the grass. And that's the word sun. Sun. Now, I also told you that if you are a girl and you have long hair, and I don't mean boys don't have long hair because you know we have a boy who has long hair, which is Latarjan. So if you want to wrap up your hair up in a bun, girls, girls, you can put your hair in a bun. Bun. Bun is the word that's going to go right up here. Okay? So you start on the plane line, you start on the sky, come down to the grass, pick your marker up, and go to the plane line and make a bump to the grass. And that's the letter B for bun. The letter U, you start on the plane line, come down to the grass, go up to the plane line, come down to the grass. Okay? And the letter N. You start on the plane line, come down to the grass, go up in a hump, and then come down to the grass. And that's the word bun, bun. Now, you are supposed to be practicing this on your notebooks that have primary lines. What does that mean? It means you can't write on every single line whatever you want to. If I'm teaching you how to do it where it goes on here, you need to practice that. Now, we hope that next week we can do a little bit better when we go for Google Meets on how to write on your notebooks. But do know you need to practice, practice, practice because that takes time to learn. That's not something you can with the snap of your fingers and do it perfectly. Some of you are doing it very well now because you have been doing it with me for almost two months. I didn't start with this today. I started it a little while ago. And you're getting there. Others have never touched it. So I need you to practice your primary lines. I need you to be careful what you do in your writing because writing makes it what? Magnifique. Perfect. So. What I want you to do today is watch the next video on math with the missing adding, adding or the missing uh, minimum. And hopefully you can make your own equations of addition and subtraction. I'll see you then. Bye.